Yeah, guys, hello, this is Idon Power, aka Bob. Yeah, I just wanted to uh, show you some stuff as well. And um, I built a stable, I'll be showing it to you in a minute. And I'm still working on my nuclear uh, station. And I am after now, I wanted to make a um, what do you call it? Uh, transmutation table, and I call it. <laughs> Tab it's tablet I believe is and um, I need uh, the philosopher stone all right um, I wanted to remember how oh yeah I this stuff how I make the energy crystal as well I've been getting some stuff ready to be done okay we put that put these in here and we'll put these yep yeah, this this is the table and uh, hmm, we need to do four of these blocks I believe this is how and oh yes oh yes transmutation table and I'll show you what's so special about that table um, that table guys is you could carry it now wherever I go I have lots of stuff I could put them in here and uh, let's say the torches and let's get one only and we throw it here and somehow um, you're not gonna lose anything and I left that table let's say in the chest in here come back home I could get all the money I put on that table in here as you can see this is my nine for the torch and yeah I could take it from here again and it will be clear from that table and it's it's a kind of really really useful so whatever you are and you feel like your bag is full you could just sell your stuff put them in the table and put it in the bag and just send it home if you want to and um, so you feel safe as well but i like it so whenever i'm doing some mining and stuff and i need to get something really valued i could straight away put it in that table which is great i'm so happy um the middle the medallion guys and uh, this is how you do this medallion i don't know what is it for but i believe maybe the villager will ask me for it this medallion is so expensive and it is the same as that one but this one is the cheapest one and uh, yeah uh, let me show you I think I did two of it uh, do I have anyone in here no okay let's get two rubbers uh, two uh, leathers and one two yeah this condenser I've been working on this uh, energy condenser and uh, there's some sand in here I don't need any more the sand so I'm gonna do take the sand make it into bone meal I'll be showing you why guys I'm taking the bone meals I'm saving I'm getting tons of bone meals now because I have uh, my flex seed farm really really in good order and yep let's um, uh, I don't wanna use these ones. What I'm gonna do uh, take one, two. Is it two? Not really sure. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's one bar of gold. And uh, yep. Yeah. So eight blocks of iron ingots makes one gold and uh, yeah i keep putting that one okay now you put that one and two leathers and you get the middle light medallion you know it's a cheaper that way but i want to keep one spare in here i think i did keep one i don't remember where i put it maybe i dropped it somewhere do i have it in here no because i'm thinking if one of the villagers asked me for a medallion i could just right away give it to him which is good yeah and this carbon stuff i wanted to do um, the suit i showed you in my previous videos guys how to do this carbon plate and yep i need this energy crystal um one two i'll take two for now to show you what i could do with this stuff if i wanted to do kind of trousers i could put this stuff like this and i got this hand new suit leggings i'm not very sure how powerful it is and uh, this is how you do that body armor uh, i need for the helmet one 
two for the boots I think I need as well one um, okay let's do the helmet first that's it that's the boots um, I wanted to do the helmet first oh forget the helmet do I have to put the fifth one in here no no the helmet is hmm. okay let's do the boot now and I'll be checking out the helmet how I need to get some more of these carbon plate anyway and I have one ready for the helmet so yeah that suit will look cool uh, I believe what I'm doing ah this should let's see the boot I need to uh, Wow, it looks kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, I need to see myself how I look like, <laughs> like a robot. <laughs> yeah, I love it. It looks cool. <laughs> I need to get a decent helmet as well. Okay, um, okay, uh, I like it. I really, really like it. It looks kind of cool. Um, I think I need a glass for the helmet. One piece of glass and you can see guys each one glass makes one sand or one there so things is cheaper now million time yep and uh, what do you call it uh, for the solar power helmet i was wearing a let me show it to you first that one i believe it charges my electric jetpack which is great and yeah i need three of that stuff so two three four um these crafting tables are empty anyway so one two three four uh, energy crystal and glass yeah that's the helmet <laughs> can i charge them in here that one will take century to charge these suits so what i'm gonna do i wanted to check how much my as you can see honestly guys i believe the helmet the solar power helmet i was wearing because i used that jet too much it's great cool really cool let's go and i just wanted to see how the helmet looked like on my head as well wow <laughs> i have there's another suit i should be able to do as well and uh, i wanted to see what you know how it looked like I love these big blue eyes. <laughs> this is really funny. This is really funny. It looks great. I love it. Honestly, it looks great. I could upgrade that suit into the um, red metal, which is uh, I'll probably try it as well. And yeah, I, I'm, what I'm going to do, I'll be leaving that suit now at home because I need to charge it and I don't want to waste too much of that power I have in there and I wanted to see if I, I could just make this suit I could be flying with you know I'll be able to do uh, kind of fire resistant stuff you know kind of stuff like this and uh, I'm happy I got the suit ready for now um, let's put it in should I put it in here in the middle no, I'll put it up here so yeah that's the first suit special hmm. I'm gonna have tons of suits different types hopefully all right and uh, yeah I wanted to show you one more thing I think in here let's see these stuff to do with the nuke thing and I'll be showing it to you I'll show you this stuff as well for the nuke this uh, EU reader reads the power I'm getting from the nuclear station okay and oh yeah let's check how much we have of these terminals wow 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 364 is already done that one and let's take that half a stack that one and a half a stack cool 41 in here 42 in here why 42 anyway and yep give it to me okay i need to put some coil and guys the best way to do coil is in that chest pull coil put one that's uh, 64 two three four five six that should be enough six stacks which is great you know i don't have to 
like a, I put six stacks I use six coils if you want to say six eternals and one two three four and one because that one takes too long to finish them and it will take century to get that one ready anyway so yeah let's sell the rest and let's get the key first hopefully we'll get some decent money out of these stuff as well wow 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 cool okay i need dark matter 12 let's get some more over that one five okay so that's 28 12 cool i have to check out uh, how to upgrade the suit i uh, let's see quickly now with the boots if this is our you know i'll be checking it anyway uh, I don't think that suit is for that one. I know there is the other suit that you use something. You use matter something like this. I'm thinking now to put more of these ones and uh, yeah, you know what? Because I could speed up the process. Let's take eight of that stuff and see how many we can get. Oh, that's a million. Okay, one. I need two of that. Uh, okay, so that two in there. And how much is it? One. Okay, I'll take two for now. One, two, three, four. Cool. So each two for the price of one. Really, really cool. Yeah. Very nice. Okay. Let's put the key back. And do I need to in here anything, guys? No. Okay, that's cool. Oh, four. So each one of these takes two. It's great. I have a stack in here ready for these tailwinds. And yeah, let's couple of these ones. And now we're gonna have a more treasure coming in. And one in here, one in here. Oops. One in there. One in there should be flying now you could see the power really really better yeah this one zero yeah no, no. thousand if I got that one really fast cool leave them so these ones will help these ones to speed up the process as well. Better than being too slow. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I wanted to show you a... Um, the flex seed farm and how things is working now. And yeah, this is, this is the stable. I'll be showing it to you as well. I moved all the horses to there. I'm gonna make a breeding place in here as well. So uh, I'll be showing it to you guys and I need to farm my farm. I wish, you know, as soon as we break them, I could just pick them up really quickly. They have to land, as you can see, some on the floor, some in here, some in there. Doesn't really matter anyway. And let's make these ones into a watermelon kind of hole shaped watermelon. Guys, this is fun now and let me show you I showed you that in my previous video how it's been built as you can see I have seven flex seeds now I made a way it could feed itself by itself and um, to make it that way make sure on the buffer and uh, sorry in the deployer you put one on each of these boxes so the only things can come back is the flex seeds and the strings will go back to where it should be 
in the chests and now um, let's put that stuff in here and this is why I'm getting too much bone meal because I need to get tons of bone meal and to keep feeding that machine and getting lots of stuff so um, yeah and this is for the bone meal for who haven't seen how they grow and I'm trying to get them ready and yep let's start the machine on one two three and that one on now let me show you guys as you can see strings is flying in and this is the pipe all I did I added that pipe to the deployer you could see the flex seed is coming that way but guys when this 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 thing is full make sure you break the pipe and wait till it's empty and you will be producing tons of stuff again from it when it's empty so um, you could start with like 10 seeds you know 10 uh, flex seeds just put nine and couple on the first one and it will it won't stop honestly look at it it just feeds up itself all you have to do is fill the bone meal deployer and let's go home and show you what I'm making out of these stuff and because I moved the coil from the other one I believe so um, you know the condensers I have up there guys it's up to you if you want to put diamonds gold whatever you want to put in them inside them the energy condensers I love them they're very cool stuff Honestly, they are. These ones are very, very... This is the strings I'm getting now. And... Uh, mm, if I put a pumpkin, I could have, like, pumpkins out of these stuff. You can see. What I mean. And if I put... Uh, what's that? That one. I have bone meals, so to keep getting more bone meals in here. I wanted to get tons of bone meals. I wanted to fill the chest you saw there. So, what I'm gonna do is... Um, make them both to a bone meal and yeah so I could have lots of bone meal and for now and after I try to change it to something like coil uh, iron gold or whatever I wanted to have yeah I love this suit and I have 41 uranium in here and I have like about eight or nine in in there in the station I'm working on so um uh, hopefully things will get well in there and i'll be showing you how it's been built and how stuff is done it's not finished yet i'm working still on it guys okay and let's put these pumpkins in here get some emc points and this is what i got from the bees i'm trying to work with that stuff as well see what i could get all uh, right uh let's get one diamond uh, put the rest on the key table okay and that diamond come on it's lagging a little bit leave it in here for diamonds yeah whenever i get some more i just leave it in here for crystals i need to to use lots of crystals okay now it's daytime let's go and show you the stable how it's look like and uh, I hope you you like it guys and you can see this tree in there I'm, I'm breaking it bit by bit as well I just took most of the leaves off you know using these special tools I have and yeah as you can see I sweeped up the, the land in here I make it really better now to build this table I need some more building so I uh, don't want to be close to the villages you know they the villagers they go pissed sometimes and I've been cooking these uh, these what they call them uh, kind of mud bricks you know i bought it from uh, the villagers and uh, when i cooked it it comes into cooked stone or something like this which is beautiful white stone and this is the stable guys uh yeah let me i'll explain how i built it so you have the idea how you know how what's the height and the width so uh, for who, who want to build it, it will be easier hopefully okay um it's five blocks high to here and i use the stairs from up there i'll be showing it to you you can see the base is with the iron wood or dark wood and three blocks of fence one two three and i ended up with the a top layer of iron wood or of dark wood and i'm oops 
I made one, two, three layers of stairs above it and I put glass all over the place as you can see guys to make it look really lighty inside and uh, in here I did is okay this, the size of that stable is 12 wide and 23 block long so this is the main size of the stable and you have one two three four blocks in here on the fifth block you come out and you do the door space two double doors and you put this pillar in there and these fences the dark iron well it's iron wood cold and dark wood whatever and you go with the rest of the line to that way so you do it's like four five six seven eight of 23 so you have 15 block in there which is this is the size of this table and the fences I try to fill around with them I try to make it nice decorated from the front you know for the gate thing and make sure you leave these spaces because horses they take about two and a quarter of the block to be able to go in and out and so you leave the third block off and I don't think they'll be able to jump that space so it's okay Let's show you from the inside how it looks like. I put these chests and yeah, I got some wheat in here as well. And these ones, haystack, which is, yeah, let me show you. So you get the idea, guys. I don't want you to be confused. And um, sometimes when you try to, then you get one haystack, as you can see. So this, is a, it doesn't matter up or down it's the same still but if you put them that way they won't they will nothing will happen so you get the idea guys and yep this is how we do the haystack they cool because they save some space and they look nice in the chests i'll probably get some more put it in that chest and this is the horses and um, i try to breed them and i have a one baby it was a brown baby and i bred them again and i have another kind of red color one completely different than these ones i can't find it it's, it's like paler than this color i believe yeah but I'm, I'm going to try again to breed the horses you need to make a separate room uh probably try to uh, draw these horse you know what I'm, I'm not gonna breed this horse i wanted to breed the, the black one and the unicorn one hopefully i'll get a decent type of horse oh come on what's going on with you what it's like a slippery oh yeah guys one more thing horses they should be able to float and I don't know why now he's, he's not doing it but normally they float and you could just ride them and they will be able to float but this one I don't know why maybe each horse is different actually you know now I really think about it I'm gonna try the other horse because I just have one of my horses was floating on the water and I was riding him and all I'm doing is just I didn't even press the flying jet all I did is just push walking and he was fine uh, Let's take the black one. I want to breed this one. See what I could get. Hopefully I'll have a baby. And let's see. Will he float? Will you float? Oh no. Well, he's lazy this one. Unless I believe if they are. Okay let's push him to the water. Because I wanted to make sure. Because they look really cool. as you can see now he's in the water and if I go on him he's floating you could see guys this is what I'm talking about and all I do now is just ride him on the water it's like a boat <laughs> so if you want to do that thing guys it is exciting you don't have to press the jet bit but if you want to get up on that step you have to fly him off okay so I know now why I was able to do it okay i need to get some pumpkin for that one i need one pumpkin one of the pumpkin come on oh yeah oh yeah let's check that one how much all right cool 
And let me show you guys how much uh, flax seed I have now. Oh my god. You know what I mean? This is how much. So the best thing to do now is break this pipe, guys. And now everything is even the pipe. See, this is the pipe. <laughs> I'll pick it up in the chest because these pipes won't be um, made into anything in the chest. And yeah, let's check that one. Oh my god, they're really full. So that's cool, you know. Oh my god, tons of it in here. Let's break that one. To be able to pick these ones up. Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay, and did I pick up that pipe? No, even that pipe got sucked. Okay, uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take one stack. So all that one's running in, they will be... Yep, yeah. cool. As you can see guys, this is how it feeds itself and with one added pipe to the machine <laughs> and you'll have a beautiful amount coming into your uh, chests. Okay, let's go home and see. Okay, let's check the bone meal first and I believe I have tons of bone meals. Yeah, that's, that's fine for now probably get some more bones with me and I'll be checking the horses later so this is this is great guys honestly so excited for that stuff so um let's see how much bone meal I have I need to work on the breeding of the horses so I'll try probably skip that bit because they take too long to be um, you know bred the other pipe so that's bone meal this is bone meal you could see guys what i'm talking about let's take that one as well yeah cool okay guys i'll end up the video now as you can see my machine is really working perfect and it won't be it will be unstoppable <laughs> Well, I'm so happy with it, honestly. <laughs> I could get tons of stuff now. I could get diamonds. I could get gold. You know, these uh, machines, if they don't stop, they could make tons of EMC points for stuff. I could make pumpkins and... Yep, this is... I need a couple of pumpkins because I need one for each. So let me harvest this. Oh my god, that's four. Yeah, that's enough for now. Probably give them a couple each. So, let's drop that stuff in there. Now, let's get this string in there. Okay. Yep. Boom. I like it to be tidy, so I'll probably get some more bone, fill up all that chest, and we'll make it three kind of bone meal, three bones. So I have tons of these stuff and as you can see they they keep going and going and going which is great and uh, when I feel these chests getting empty which is they take too long to be empty all I can do is uh, put bone meal which is great yep I'll leave it running so and my bees looking good guys I'm not gonna try to uh, as you can see they still I just been looking after them and I'll probably show you this industrial bee I have before. I'm not very sure. But I have this kind of bees now. And uh, they're great as well. Yeah. And I've been cooking some stuff in here. I'm getting these purples from the dough. The, these wax. And yeah, I'll probably show it to you in my previous video. I'm getting all that stuff from the from different type of bees now. Which is great stuff. And yeah, I'm so happy with it. And yep. Alrighty then, and let's keep that stuff. I'm, I wanted to work with that stuff, see what I could do with, and I'll be checking it out, and I'll let you know, guys. Let's feed the pumpkins for the horses, and I'll end up the video. Oh, they have a little baby horse. 
Alright. Oh, any? They have a little black one. Oh, come on. Where is your horn? Oh, I wish they have a, you know, kind of horn thing like this. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> that's really sweet. Okay, guys, I'm really happy now. I have a little baby horse from these two, which is cool. Really. Can I feed him? No. No. Okay. Uh, yeah, guys, please don't forget to like, favor, and sub. This is so exciting. <laughs> and yep uh, i'll be seeing you in my next video I'm, I'm thinking to build a refinery station in here to take all that oil off and save it for something although my power station there is gonna be cool soon as well so stay tuned and i'll see you soon guys please guys um uh, hope you leave a like on that video for that little baby horse he's so so cute oh look at <laughs> oh my god okay i'll see you soon guys goodbye for now